Hey guys, I'm Jay here and I'm back with my updated hair care routine and current products that I have been using. Um, a few months ago, I let you guys in on my current hair care routine, the products I've been using and how I wash my hair. And since then, I have changed my routine and, you know, changed some products out, changed my routine. And, you know, as you read from my brown product hair product reviews, I'm still trying out different products. But I think I found a few that work for me and have been working with my hair and, you know, it's still work in progress, but I think I got a solid routine down. It may sound a little complicated and confusing as I talk about it. If you have any questions, just leave them down below and I will answer them for you. So let's get right into the routine. I still wash my hair every single week. I shampoo once a month. In between that, I will use a co-wash. So before I even start the whole washing process, I section my hair off into six sections and I apply a hair treatment or hair mask for about an hour in my hair and I cover that with a plastic cap. Um, I'm still you know, tweaking um, hair treatments and hair masks in my hair, but I think I found a couple that really work with my hair. That's going to be a separate post, but, you know, after that's been sitting in my hair, I will step in the shower and rinse, you know, just rinse my hair with um, the water, and then I will take down each section and really rinse out the treatment and mask, and then I will go in. When I do co-wash my hair, I use the As I Am Coconut, oops, almost dropped it. <laughs> co-wash i've been really really loving this before i was using hello hydration i was liking it but you know you know it's good to try different things and i really do like this one and it's a really really great co-wash it's nice and thick and creamy it really leaves my hair feeling soft and you know it brings the curls back and it's really really nice but this is almost empty so i picked up this um herbal essences this week is a butter and this is the conditioner so once I'm finished with my As I Am, I will start using this one and let you guys know how I like it. So after I go through each section, co-washing, rinse it out, I will um, go in with my apple cider vinegar rinse. This apple cider vinegar diluted with water, and I put it in this applicator bottle. And I still use an ounce of uh, apple cider vinegar and two ounces of water. And I will, you know, coat my hair and my scalp. I will gently massage my scalp and rinse it out. Um, it helps with build up. It helps, you know, if I miss any build up, it helps clarify my scalp. And it's just really, really great. It's been a great help. So after I do that, I will deep condition my hair. So I go between three of them. It depends on how my hair is feeling. So the first one I normally reach for is this Curl Max um, Deep Penetrating Conditioner. I really like this one. It is enriched with shea butter, argan oil, macadamia, and coconut oil. And it really helps, you know, penetrate my hair, get in there, and bring back moisture and just really helps keep my hair soft during the week. Um, the other one that I will reach for is the Eden Jojoba Minoy um, All Natural Leaf Conditioner. This is a really great one also and it's nice and thick. The only thing, to me they're the same texture but this is just a bigger container in a way and this is creamier I guess and this, that's more like, this is more of a silky thick texture. This is like a creamy texture. So those are the two I use and when my hair is very, very dry and I really need a lot of moisture, I will reach for my Shea Moisture Deep Treatment Mask. And this is a multi-purpose product because I will use this as my leave-in and my deep conditioner. So I can leave this in my hair after applying it to my hair. So another thing I have brought back into my routine, why a tooth comb? Um, I know there's been, I mean, you know, reading different blogs and watching YouTube, a lot of people, you know, that... Where the hair natural do not use combs or brushes too much because, you know, it can pull at your hair, tuck at your hair. And, you know, I normally use my fingers to detangle my hair, but it hasn't been as effective lately. My hair, you know, it still feels a little tangled and I hate that, you know, trying to get the tangles out. It really pulls at my hair. It hurts. So this has been working. So after I apply my deep conditioner, I will go in with my wide tooth comb and gently, starting from the roots, I will gently grab my hair and comb out the roots and gently work my way up to, I'm sorry, from the end, and gently work my way up to the roots of my hair so I can, you know, smoothly comb down all of the section of my hair. And this has been really working because I've noticed a difference when I'm trying to style my hair. I don't have to go back in and detangle my hair. And it's been making it very, very easy to maintain and manage my hair. I've noticed a big, big difference since I started using my Y2 comb again. So after I do all that, I'll leave my deep conditioner in maybe half hour, maybe an hour, it depends. If I'm using the Shea Moisture one, I will just leave it in my hair. So when I um, 
rinse out my deep conditioner. I will go in and seal my hair with oil. I've been using the shea butter oil and it's pretty much empty. So I started using the jojoba oil. I got these from my local beauty supply store and I've been, you know, seeing some results. They've been working very well with my hair. So um, I will break the oil through my hair and then I'll step in the shower and rinse the excess oil out and then twist each section up and then I will shock my hair with cold water and just to pull up the follicles and, um, you know, seal in the moisture. And also, like I, once a month, I've been using this co-wash. This is the Aubrey GPB Balancing Conditioner Just Rinse Protein. I've been using a protein, um, I've incorporated this into my routine. It's a protein-based um, conditioner I've been using as a co-wash. I've noticed a difference in my hair, and I've really been loving it. And as far as when I shampoo my hair, I've been abandoning my Carol's Daughters. Um, you know, I was using that before, that shampoo and conditioner. And I've been abandoning it. I've been using other shampoos and conditioners, but I think I'm going to start going back to that one because I noticed when I use that one, my hair is not shedding as much and it looks, you know, and feels better. So I'm going to go back to using my Carol's Daughters one. So after my hair is washed, it's twisted into this section. I will put a t-shirt on my head and leave it on until my hair is about damp. That really helps control the frizz. And it helps with absorbing the extra oil and water and, you know, just really helping dry my hair. The drying process go a little fast because if I air dry, it's going to take forever. So after my hair is about damp, um, I will go in with my weave-in conditioner. This is the Elastic QP Olive Oil and Mango Butter weave-in. Um, before I was using the Can Touche Butter and it's been working, but I wanted to try something different. And I really like this one. I did a review on it. It's just the thing with me is I don't like the texture too much. It's too silky and not as thick as the Cantu, but it's just as effective. And it really, really works well. I've been loving it. So after I apply my leave-in, I will go in with my coconut oil. I still use my good old facial coconut oil. I love this stuff. It really works well. It's a great multi-purpose product. And I just, you know, really love this oil. And then after I apply my oil, I will go in with my Curl and Style Milk. This has really been working for me. I love how it retains the moisture in my hair, keeps my hair soft. And as you can tell, it's almost empty. So these three products is what is called the lock method, leave-in oil cream. Um, I use that every time I wash my hair. In between washing, when my hair is starting to feel a little dry, it really helps, you know, keep the moisture in my hair, keep my hair soft and manageable. So after I apply those three products, I will go in with my styling product, and I've been using the Curling gel souffle, and this is just about empty, so I have to get another one. I think I have another one somewhere in my stash, so I have to go find it. But other than that, I'll apply my styling product, and then I will either twist my hair, braid it, do bantu knots, do whatever I'm going to do with my hair. And after I finish my hair, the hair process, I will go in with this John Frieda um, nourishing oil elixir and smooth this all over my hair, and then I let it air dry for the rest of the night and. I'll put a um, silk scarf or silk bonnet on my hair and take my hair down the next day. I will, before I even take my hair down, I will coat my hair with this again. And then I'll just carefully take down each section and, you know, clean some um, sections back or just, you know, leave that is as is. And that is it for my hair care routine. But, you know, sometimes during the day, during the week, if my hair starts to look a little crazy, you know, I'll go in with some water and use the lock method again, my leave-in oil and cream, and just that just helps, you know, rebuild the curls in my hair, redefine the curls, and bring back some moisture if my hair is starting to feel dry, but it's been working, and that is my routine, basically, so any questions you have, you can leave them down below, um, what is your hair care routine, what do you currently use with your hair, let me know in the comment section below, and I hope you guys have a great weekend, till next time, see you guys later.